Okay, today I'm out here with my Sharps rifle, 1,000 yards. Uh, my target is 18 inches wide by 24 inches tall. If you want to fast forward to the shooting, it's where it starts. Okay, last time I was out here, I made my 500 yard shooting video uh, with the Sharps rifle and I was using the shooting sticks for the first time. And I went back and I was paying attention to the video. Then I went and looked at my uh, 782 yard freehand shooting and I was actually better shooting freehand than I was 500 yards. Uh, that was after I'd left. And the reason why I did what I did is, is when I lined up at a thousand yards, I got totally whipped using the shooting sticks. And what's happening is, is when I set the shooting sticks up and I got them here, the front sight is going like this and I can't calm it down and get it to stop. I couldn't figure out what was going on. So what I did is the last two weeks at home, there's an old uh, building that's got a window on it that's unoccupied, no houses around. There's no houses between where I live at and it. So it's a safe place to just practice aiming. And so what I did is, is every day I went out there and I practiced. First day, all that site was doing was this. I tried some different body positions, didn't help. Second day I got out there, same thing. Front sight's going like this. And then all of a sudden it occurred to me, I was holding the shooting sticks at 90 degrees to me. And if you're holding them at 90 degrees, if you see one is on top of the other, well, one is in front of the other. And because one is in front of the other on the fore end, one is down here and one is up here. So when I'm holding the gun, it's trying to twist the front sight. And that's why the front sight is go was, was going like this on me. So what I did is, is I just stuck them at an angle to where it looked like it was even. It would be this way right here, but it looked like they were even to me in the same part of the forend on the gun. And that's what I started practicing after that. And that first day I had it pretty calm. And after that, I was doing a pretty good job of calming it down. So when I came out here this morning, uh, I lined up. I went for it. I think I got it on the fourth shot. And I don't know why, but the third shot did get away from me. I believe it's the third shot. It's really high. The first two shots are pretty close all over the target. Then I come in and I nailed it on the fourth round. So I zoomed in the target cameras, uh, said my thing, put the target cameras back on the targets again, reset all the cameras, and I went for it again. And that first round, boom, I, heard, I saw the steel move. Heard the ding, I was like, okay, life is good. Well, when I looked at the video, I did not hit it. I did hit it, but it was a skip in. So anybody that's gonna wanna call bull BS on any shot that I ever make, I'm always honest about everything. And in this case, that fifth shot was a skip in. I would have gone a few more shots. My goal was three or four hits, but I had it in five and I'm looking at my box of ammo and it's like, you know what? And I decide I'm gonna save the ammo because after all, I'm on my quest for uh, 1,550 yards, which is real close to the uh, shot of the century, which Billy Dick Dixon pulled off in 1874 in the Texas Panhandle. And that's my ultimate goal here is that 1,550 yards. I think it's actually 1,535, but I will know for sure, and I'll have that distance right. About my eyesight, uh, people have commented thinking I must have an eagle eye or something like that. I really don't. I do have good eyesight. I'm lucky I'm 63 years old and I, I don't need glasses driving at night or anything, but I do need 1.0 reading glasses, which I've been using since I was about 50. But the trick is, is on a shot like this is setting the target out. So it's going to stick out. So when you set it up, you want it in a bare spot. And then you have enough bushes around it so the bare spot stands out to you. So that when you look down there at the bare spot, you'll see the target. Yes, it's small, but you'll see the spot there. So all I do is I look at my bare spot, I can see the target, and I bring the gun up. And to say the least, I've been at this a while. So when I bring the gun up, I'm pretty good at being close to the target. If not, I might have to fish around a little bit. But because of how the bear spot is set up, I'm able to get on it. And there's my little tiny dot that's a target. And in this case, the uh, at 18 inches wide, 24 tall, 
The blade seems to be about the same width as the target. So I have to watch out that I don't climb up the target and totally cover up the target and then I don't know where it is. And I think on one of the shots, the uh, third shot, I think that's what happened, I was high. I got it up on the target and the blade came up and I didn't realize the blade came up. So I was high on that shot. But anyway, enjoy the shooting portion. and yards. All right, that's two in a row, 1,000 yards, Sharps rifle.